add vi's and objects to the functions or controls palette or sub palettes to use in a new or existing vi a sub palette can contain vi's functions controls and sub palettes a sub palette can also contain vi's from different locations You can add any VI block diagram or custom function to the functions palette. You can then place the block diagram contents of one VI on the block diagram of another VI straight from the functions palette instead of calling a sub VI. Let's see how we can do that. So let's create the VI that we want to add to the functions palette. Press Ctrl N. Let's place a function onto the block diagram. Let's connect the inputs and outputs of the function. Let's go to the front panel and connect the inputs to the connector pane. Let's create an icon, simple icon. Let's clear the existing icon. Let's create a border. Let's add a text. Let's add a simple glyph. Click OK and let's save the VI. Let's tidy up the front panel. and let's just close it let's go to the tools menu from their advanced and then edit palette set the edit controls and functions palette set dialog box appears let's go to the functions palette so let's go to user libraries then right click and select insert and empty slot an empty slot appears then right click go go to insert and select vi's a dialog box will appear from the dialog box select the VI that you just created and click open the VI will be added right click the VI you just added and select place vi contents click save changes continue to test it let's create a new vi go to its block diagram right click it go to the user libraries where we placed our new vi there is our VI selected and now when you place it the VI is not placed but its contents are placed and also the front panel controls are also placed <music> the 
you can add any VI front panel or custom controls to the controls palette. Unlike adding custom controls, adding VIs allows you to add multiple controls or decorations to the front panel at a time. Note, to add custom decorations to the controls palette, create a VI and add the decorations to the front panel. Then add the VI to the controls palette. So we had already created the VI which we would like to use as the whole front panel we would like to use as our controls. So let's go to the tools palette, go to advanced and then click edit palette set and wait for the dialog box to appear. When the edit controls and functions palette set appears, go to the controls palette, go to the location where you want to add your VI, I will go to user controls, then right click, go to insert and then select custom controls. The dialog box appears. Let's go to the folder where, where we saved our VI. Let's select our, since our VI will not uh, be, uh, since uh, by default uh, the controls are selected, let's go and select all files, then select our VI and then click open. The VI will be added to the controls. Let's click uh, save changes and the preview palette changes dialog box up appear. Let's click continue. Wait for the lab view to appear. Let's create a new VI to test it, test the new changes. Click. Let's go to the user controls where we placed our VI. There is our VI. Click it and place it. Now when we place the VI, actually its front panel is placed onto the front panel and, and the block diagram controls the block diagram elements. So instead of placing one control as in the case of custom controls, in this method the whole front panel including its controls, indicators and if there were the decorations on the front panel they are all placed onto the front panel.